Hello, Leo. Welcome to your love reading. So please only take what resonates, what makes sense, what fits for you. Whatever doesn't resonate, please just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. Uh, thank you for being here, you guys. Please like, subscribe. And Leo, we're going to get right into your reading. So let's do it. All right. The devil here coming out. All right. Maybe some attachments here. Maybe some letting go. Uh, let's see. Letting go of just that. Leo. Lovers. Okay. Very deep tie here. Very connected. Very rooted together. All right. Uh, this is a time where a lot feels so exciting, uh, so passionate right now, so possible. All right. You may also feel like you're going down different paths with your person, trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out together, but it may seem difficult. Someone here may feel like they're concealing certain things, keeping certain things within, uh, withholding out. We have justice here. All right, there may be a lack of reciprocation here, a lack of communicating, a lack of speaking. Uh, so it's like you're in this place of not knowing how you're moving forward with this person because this person is acting very shady. Certain things may be going on here, that devil energy that popped out. Magician. All right. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of possibilities, but also this can be manipulation here. This can be illusion. All right, this can be someone... Uh, Creating fantasies here, doing certain things behind the scenes, making it appear to be what it's not. Leo, I feel like a lot of you may be at a crossroads here. You may be at a crossroads with your person because there's just been too much hurt. There's been too many things that aren't right. There's been too many things that were withheld from you, things that you should have known, things you needed to know. So now it's like you're taking justice into your own hands and moving forward here and trying to find your path. That's what's possible here. That's the possibility. Let's, let's get more. Take a look at this person. Page of Wands. Okay. So this is a very passionate person, Leo. This is uh, someone who can come off very caring, very kind. Um, it's like when they're in it, they're there. Things feel good. Things feel great. But this person may have a tendency to switch that. Like just as much as they're in and they show you passion and love and tenderness, they're, it's like they, not a, not a short attention span, but it's like they're on to the next. They can be all over the place. They can be there one moment and then they're focused on something else, like entirely. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This person doesn't like to feel trapped. I feel like this person likes that sense of adventure and fun. They don't want to be tied down. They don't want to be held back. Ace of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like this person definitely... They definitely express love here. But again, at what cost? It's like this person is a wanderer this person is very iffy back and forth secretive the moon there's a lot here that's unknown about this person's intentions you may feel like there's more going on here than they're expressing to you not only about what they're doing but how they feel this person is very secretive I feel like when it comes to you and this person, this person loves to tell you that they want things to happen and that things are going to change. Things are going to grow. You guys are going to work through things. But it's like they're always asking you to either be patient, uh, to wait, uh, 
uh, again, to wait for that. It's like this person loves to be independent and they love to do their own thing, uh, especially when it comes to expressing love. They're just all over the place, Leo. This person may not be giving you enough time, effort, and energy. Let's see. Let's get more here. Nine of Cups. The High Priestess. The Devil. Queen of Cups. Okay. Yeah, that devil definitely came back out. So right now it feels like this connection may be getting more to a toxic point to where, again, there's too many secrets here, too many things that aren't being revealed. And you feeling this within yourself, you have a very strong intuition, Leo. You guys may have been feeling certain things for quite some time here. You may also be starting to realize that this person is um, can be very smug, can be very selfish, uh, very self absorbed um again this person just creates so much tension chaos and havoc with their actions with what they do what they don't do again making this this feeling of waiting this feeling of telling that things will grow things will get better but it's like again needing my own space needing my own time i need to do my own thing very all over the place here this is a time where you are really going to focus on what's important to you and free yourself you're not going to be bound by this anymore now that look how this uh how he's wrapped up this is what it may feel like uh <laughs> This is what it may feel like in this connection, being so wrapped up, so bound. You can't move. You can't think. You don't know which path you're going. You don't know what moves to take because it's all over the place. So you may be at a place now where you're really trying to clear your energy here to move forward from this person, releasing this attachment, freeing yourself. Freeing yourself from the chaos, freeing yourself from too many arguments. This has been a very rocky connection. It has been very up and down, Leo. But the important thing here is that you are, are free. You have always been free. And when you free yourself from this attachment, being bound, there's so much more not only to enjoy, but that can really truly be expressed to you. Someone who can really uh, effectively express emotions, show you love, not create a fantasy or illusion and have that sense of always waiting, always being patient, waiting for things to happen, waiting for things to fall into the right place. The new path here leads to love. Because it's someone here who has a big heart. It's the king of cups here. Could be a Pisces. Someone who is really loving, very emotionally uh, mature when it comes to love. How to express it and how to receive it. That's what's next here. It starts with that abandoning ship. Taking off. Getting to that place where things are not so rocky and not all over the place here. So there's a lot here to discover for yourself about love, <laughs> um, the feelings that you do deserve when it comes to love and being able to express it comfortably and be safe because you are no longer bound. Your intuition is kicking, it's strong, it's heightened, paying attention to it. All right. Helping you leading the way here. There's a lot that you're going to be enjoying here. A lot of happiness here. It's all about you and your happiness. And what's next for you. So let's get more here. Let's take a look.
Two of Pentacles. Having a lot going on, a lot to juggle here. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, much more stable energy here. New opportunities opening up here. Three of Swords. And Temperance. Okay. So, a lot of healing going on here for you, but this healing, this time of breaking free uh, is going to allow so much healing, healing of your heart, Leo, and really being able to be more rooted in something strong, you being more rooted and strong in what you want. And again, really being able to enjoy a strong connection, something fruitful, but stable, just like this tree here. It's all about having more calm, less rockiness here for you. And it all starts with healing, healing your heart. And I want to go back to this, your energy up here. There's going to be so much strength here. You're going to feel so empowered by the decisions, the choices that you have in front of you with how you want to move forward here. Going back to that magician, so many possibilities. Yes, there may have been someone here who was very manipulative, a liar, right? Really deceptive. But the most important thing here is your strength. That light here, the end of your sword, your strength, your handle of it and how you wield it. That's the key here. That's what's important here and how you are going to move forward. There may be a lot of information that you're going to be receiving here, things that are going to be coming out, things you're going to find out uh, either from this person or from others, but still it's all leading you to healing your heart, having more balance, having more calm, peace, and much more fruitful love. All right. But again, it's more, it's deeply rooted. It's strong. It's secure. It's stable. That's the important good thing here in moving ahead so let's get some oracle cards and see There we go. All right. One flew over here. All right. There we go. All right. We have X here. Breaking up separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment, cutting out uh, what is not good for you, cutting out the toxic patterns because someone here was wearing a mask. All right, not showing true feelings, someone who hides, someone who keeps things buried, and you needing much more than that. This is someone who pretends, someone who gaslights, someone who blames, someone who runs away because, again, they want their independence, they want to do what they want to do, yet they want to have you on a string, they want to have you bound, but you're cutting it. Cutting that cloth and you're freeing yourself wedding rings here union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise something much more deeply rooted strong and fruitful the sword and the rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power all of these things here for you Strength, power, clarity, and that beauty with that rose, that gentleness with that rose, that love with that rose. So it's a beautiful way to take off and start anew, to be protected, to be strong, to be clear, beautiful, ready to accept love, gentleness, kindness, that fruitfulness here, deeply rooted, very strong, healed. Much more balance here with the strength that you have that you're going to be wielding here. All right, let's see.
free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's all how you willed it. But you have it. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. No longer having to just wait and wait and wait. But actually have, um, have that energy, that reciprocation, that deeply rooted love that will be fruitful, Leo. So I'm feeling that very strongly here. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Someone wants to reconcile here. There's someone here who definitely wants to communicate about all this that's happened. So for some of you, it comes down to a choice. Do you reconcile? Or are you taking back control? Freeing yourself. There's definitely a lot here about trying to fix certain things. So for some of you, that may be the case. All right. Let's see the first one here. I'm trying to figure out this connection. I've never experienced anything like it before. Very intense, very strong, magnetic, the bond, the passion. I long for your kisses and your touch. There's a deep longing here. I feel our energy merging together as if it has a life of its own. We are becoming one again. I want to know everything about you, but I hold myself back from asking. I'm afraid to get in deep. There's definitely someone here who conceals, like they hide their feelings. Like they may not be opening up because they have a little bit of fear here. You may be thinking, okay, this person is being really sneaky. Something is off here. Like, what is the deal with this person? But it's, they're just like, their emotions are cut off. Like, they're just, like, buried deep. And they're just not, they don't know how to express. Let's see. Okay. We have soulmate here. Yes, this person is your soulmate. There is a strong spiritual bond between you and this person. This card also pertains to new friendship with kindred souls and attracting the right people. Okay, self-love. Accepting and loving yourself is key in either attracting or maintaining a healthy relationship. Focus on what makes you unique without comparing yourself to others. You are unconditionally loved by the universe. Absolutely. All right. And then we have storm. Conflict is affecting your current situation or relationship. Look for a diplomatic way to solve the issue. This card stands for unexpected and sudden changes here. So there's a lot brewing. There's been a lot brewing. Again, this is very up and down, very rocky. Some of you are separated. Right now, there may be even just, a, a, you know, a little bit of the silent treatment going on because there was just too much happening. Let's see. Okay. 
observe. Time to really see, to have that clarity. Seeing what's going on, observing the patterns, observing behaviors, observing things that are being concealed from you, whether it's feelings, whether it's things that are going on that you may feel you know are going on. You had two very strong cards about your intuition, Leo. Okay. So there's a lot here to observe. There's a lot here to pay attention to. And a lot of you have a choice to make or it feels like you have a choice to make. Let's see. discernment you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion you're seeing clear now you're observing everything that you need to observe here you are seeing clearly using your judgment knowing the difference between love Fear, love and control, seeing truth from that illusion, from someone who creates fantasy, someone who is very good at manipulation, very good at trying to control things. See. Enjoy. Enjoy every moment of your life. No longer wasting time. No longer being held back. No longer being bound. This is the time for you to enjoy you. All the possibilities that are here for you in love, Leo. This is your time to enjoy. Abundance. Be open to accept an abundance of love. Time to enjoy. All the things that ha can happen when you are free. When you take control. So much abundance here. So many possibilities opening up for you when it comes to love. Being open to it. Being ready to accept it. Find a balance. There's a lot of that in this reading. Finding that balance from when things are just all over the place, very rocky. A lot being thrown in. And you have a lot here about roads and paths. Look at the path in the middle there. Finding that balance for you. That balance you need. The path you're going to take, the choice you may have to make here, seeing clearly, a lot to look at, a lot to observe, stopping patterns. It's 
all in how you wield that strength, that power. <clears throat> and all that love that comes, that sweetness that comes with that rose here. Finding that balance for you. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to pull two. I keep you close inside my heart. Let's look at the bottom. Ooh, upside down. Okay. I should have just walked away before this all began. There's definitely someone here who keeps too many secrets. There's someone here that has kept you very close to their heart who may want to reconcile or it is keeping you very close. But I feel like it's that the secrets that come with that moon here that you've always known with your feelings, your intuition, your subconscious that gets in the way. Looking for a diplomatic way to solve the issue. There's unexpected sudden changes here. I feel like this is a connection where the, like, it's like you and your person feel so pulled to each other. Even when there's a storm, there's a call, there's a need here for more balance and more healing more truth and clarity but it's all in how you wield it that's the key here i feel needing to be clear needing clarity stopping the pattern let's get more let's see Okay, message in a bottle. Yeah, there's definitely someone here that wants to talk to you. This is this is a conversation that either hasn't happened in a long time. This might be out the blue. This might be very unexpected for a lot of you that uh, someone from your past here. But again, there's someone here who wants to talk to you. They have a message for you. It may be taking some time. It may be coming from a distance here. But it's like a long awaited conversation like this person has been wanting to talk to you, keeping you close in their heart. Someone's been holding on to this message, holding on to what they feel they need to express. Okay, Leo, last card, last message. Let's see. Like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Needing that balance. I'm 
Accepting love is the key. And either attracting or maintaining a healthy relationship. There's a heavy storm right now for a lot of you. But wanting to show more emotions, feeling, love. Having more healthy patterns here. Like attracts like. Love attracts love. Okay. That's what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.